Welcome to JGKC Prayerland Adventure Park, a place where there is no limit for your dreams and imagination. Come for the rides, shows, parades, and foods. It will be memorable. Visit all the six wondrous worlds, try all the thrilling rides, collect the stars, and win the grand prize. At JGKC Prayerland Adventure Park, let your journey begin. Clean the windows. We are going to open soon. Oh, hi children. Welcome back to JGKC Prayerland Adventure, which will be in town until the end of June. Prayerland is a huge adventure land with six different parks. We want everyone who visits Prayerland to experience the joy and victory in Him. Oh, by the way, every time you visit Prayerland, make sure you earn your visit by scanning the park's QR code. Each week has a different QR code. Watch out for it, scan it, fill in the form, and press send. Each visit earns you a star, and if you visit all the six parks besides the Golden Stars, you will be getting a certificate from JGKC Prayerland Adventure. Remember to earn your visits. Well, children, have you noticed when Jesus was on earth, every day he would sneak out alone, whether it's early in the morning or late at night? Hmm, I wonder why. To fish? To play his favorite video games? Or to hang out with his buddies? No, 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 no. He went to pray by himself all alone. When Jesus prayed, he talked to God and he listened to God. I want to be more and more like Jesus. So I want to learn from Him. And this is what He says. When you pray, don't show off, but go into your room, meaning go into a quiet place where people don't see you and pray. He said our prayers don't need to be well-worded or long or say it over and over again. But more importantly, it should come from the heart. It should be sincere. So, I guess you can pray from your heart however you want. But in this prayer land, we will specifically explore the Lord's Prayer, which Jesus taught to His disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hmm, I know that prayer since I was a child, but it was only when I come and work in this amazing theme park called JG Casey Prayer and Adventure that I totally got it. The Lord's Prayer is like a box full of precious gems. And I don't want you to miss it like I had for so many years. So make sure you don't miss any of the Prayerland series. Let's go! Konnichiwa! Watashiwa! Shizuka desu! Welcome to the Kingdom Realm of JGKC. How was your journey in the other part? Did you manage to get a star? Are you ready for more adventure in Kingdom Realm? Here, 
you will be invited to meet Emperor Bosaka to see the glory and greatness of his kingdom. I'm sure all of you can wait to see his wonderful kingdom to admire your stars, right? But before that, there are some rules you need to follow or the god of samurai will bring you out rules number one wear proper and comfortable clothes and shoes rules number two no food and snack from outside please rules number three stay focused and don't play with your gadget but before we enter kingdom realm, let's unite our hearts in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything that you have given to us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you for everything. Lord, we are going to start our adventure in kingdom realm. We give thanks to you, Lord. We want to have fun. We want to start our journey. We want to worship you. We want to praise you and to listen to you. Open our heart, our eyes, and our minds so we can understand what we are going to learn today. Thank you, Jesus. We surrender all this into your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, as a bonus, you can see our beautiful geisha who like to sing songs of that. Let me escort you to the stage. Hiya! I forgot the script. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, Nick. Sorry, I'm just a Japanese girl imported from China. Nick. <laughs> so please enjoy our sing songs. Okay, sayonara. Ohayo, welcome to Osaka Castle. Let's lift up our voice and praise our Lord Jesus Christ. I wanna do right, wanna do what's right. I'm gonna give you all of my life. I put my trust. In you, Jesus, and you show me, you show me how to do right. Hey, hey, every word I say, ooh, I wanna be like you. Oh my, my, every day goes by, I wanna be more like you. I wanna be more like you. I wanna do right, wanna do what is right I'm gonna give you all of my life I put my trust in you, Jesus And you show me, you show me how to do right Hey, hey, everyone I say Ooh, I wanna be like you Oh my, my, every day goes by I wanna be more like you I wanna be more like you I was made to give you praise Make me more like you I was made to give you praise Make me more like you It's all I do What I say, ooh, I wanna be like you. Oh my, my, every day goes by. I wanna be more like you. Hey, hey, everyone I say, ooh, I wanna be like you. Oh my, my, every day goes by. I wanna.
wanna be more like you. I wanna be more like you. I wanna be more like you.
aren't you? Well, in order to see the king, you have to answer a riddle. Yes, he does not want to see anyone who cannot solve this riddle and so far, no one has been able to answer it. You might be the first one. Yeah, let me show you the scripture memory verse with missing words in it. Blank kingdom come, your blank be done, on earth as it is in blank. Blank, chapter 6, verse 10. Now you are given four words to fill in the blanks. Your, Matthew, heaven, and will. Now for the first part, which word do you think is the answer to blank kingdom come? Did you say your? You are correct! The answer is your kingdom come. Now for the second part, which one is the answer for your blank be done? You're right again, it is will. Your will be done. Alright, you're almost at the last part, which is the answer for on earth as it is in blank. Great job, it is heaven on earth as it is in heaven. That only leaves one more word, which means the last part is... Yes, Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Amazing job! Let's read it all together now with the answers. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Yes, let's read it one more time. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Now you read it one last time without me. Great job, you guys. Since you answered the riddle, you are now able to see King Bosaka.
They say Japan was made by a sword. They say the old gods tipped a coral blade into the ocean, and when they pulled it out, four perfect drops fell back into the sea, and those drops became the islands of Japan. I say Japan was made by a handful of brave men. Warriors willing to give their lives for what seems to have become a forgotten word. Honor. Ohio, Yokoso. Welcome to Osaka Castle. This kingdom is the strongest in JGKC Prayland Adventure Park. Watashi wa Emperor Bosaka. I am the number one samurai in this kingdom. Let me show you my skills. Sword of Power. Rope of Pink Revolution. Shield of Protection. Dragon Roll. See, I have so many skills. But today, I want to talk about something that is more important. Last week, we learned about Death's homeland. Today, we will continue the Lord's Prayer. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth, as it is in heaven. Do you know what kingdom means? Kingdom means a place where there is a king who rules the place. When we study ancient history, we knew that there are lots of kingdoms which come and go. Can you name me some? Well, the Roman Empire and Babylon were the largest kingdoms in the world. But today, they are not around anymore. Over time, every kingdom or country comes and goes eventually just become a story in the history book. But God's kingdom is not like that. It has no beginning or end. In Psalms chapter 145 verse 13, it says, For your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. What does everlasting mean? Everlasting means it will last forever. Jesus will come back again someday. And at time, he will set up his kingdom of heaven. Heaven is going to be an exciting place. Why? Heaven is going to be exciting because heaven is a place where people who have ever loved Jesus will live together and worship him forever. God will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death, sorrow, crying, or pain. All these things are gone forever. Jesus will come back someday and welcome everyone who believes in Him into His kingdom. As children of God, that's exactly what we want. Amen! Will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does that mean? What is God's will? I would like to invite a special friend. Listen well, everyone. Now, what does your will be done on earth as it is in heaven means? You see, when we pray for God's will to be done, we are saying to God that He knows what is best for us. Yes, we, we can ask God for anything, but God always knows what is best for us. Do you have a favorite food? Maybe it's ice cream? Well, I love jelly. Now what happens if we ask our parents for jelly and ice cream all the time? And they said yes all the time. Well, that won't be very good for us. In fact, we'll all feel pretty sick. You see, our parents know what food is good for us. 
But God, who sees and He knows everything, knows what is best for us all the time. So yes, we can ask God for what we want, but we need to trust God knows best what to give us. Now this means God might say yes, He might say no, or He might say wait to our prayers. Have you ever had one of these? Oh, Skittles. Um, now my kids often ask me for some Skittles. Sometimes I say, yes, we're at a birthday party. It's a special day. You can have some Skittles. But sometimes I say, no, you've had lots of treats today. It's enough lollies. So no, no Skittles. And sometimes I say, wait, please have your dinner first. Wait. And afterwards, when you're done, you can have a Skittle. You see, your mums and dads will know when to say yes, no, and wait. Because they want what is good for you. It's even more so with God. You see, God always knows what's best for us. So God can also say yes, no, or wait. Now sometimes, that can be really, really hard. And sometimes we might not understand why. But will we remember He is our good and powerful King? And He is our Father who loves us and knows what is best. So kids, the next time you pray, will you think about asking for what God wants and not just what we want? Ask for your friends to know Jesus. Ask for the day where there will be no more sad, mad, or bad things. And will you remember that God knows what is best for us, even when He says yes, no, or wait to our prayers. That's why we pray like this. Can you join in with me? Our Father in heaven, holy, is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I hope you guys can keep practicing at home and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Heaven is such a beautiful place and definitely all of us would wish to be the citizen of God's kingdom. But how do we get there? That's the questions I had in my past when I was being the outsider of Emperor Osaka's kingdom land. Back then, people used to call me Kukuyuma. I was never defeated until that day when I met my opponents. They came with so many members and I was overwhelmed. And the head of the group struck me in my right eye and I almost lost it. It became a very malfunction. I couldn't use my sight well. It really made me desperate. I almost lost my hope and my life. That night, as I happened to pass by Emperor Bosaka's backyard, I suddenly heard one of his geisha sang this song. It's really a marvelous song. Isn't it great? The words indeed touch and it stirred my heart, and I was so eager to seek their meaning. I'm so glad that I can finally see again. I really thank God and Emperor Bosaka who helped me to get my eyesight back. Because of it, I have decided I will never return to my old life when I haven't joined this wonderful kingdom of God. I just want to be His people in His kingdom forever. Now I have a new name. People call me Kawasuki. How do we get to heaven? Because God loves everyone. Does everyone get to heaven? It is true that God loves everyone in this world. But this does not mean that everyone gets to heaven. If you attend church every Sunday and never even miss a single one, 
Will you surely go to heaven? Hmm, not necessarily. We don't get to heaven because we have perfect attendance at church. Or let's say, if I'm good all the time, I never say new words. I work diligently in Emperor Bosaka's castle. And even I share my food to the others. Will I go to heaven for sure? No. We don't get to heaven by doing good things. We are still sinners. It is impossible to do everything perfectly as we will slip up and sin somewhere. Sinning one time is enough to hurt our relationship with God. There is only one way to get to heaven, that is through Jesus. Romans 10 verse 9 to 10 clearly says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. The only way to get to heaven is to believe that Jesus came to earth to die in our place for our sins and that God raised him from the dead. We have to confess that we are sinners saved by Jesus and not be embarrassed by that to live with him forever in his kingdom. My point to say is that God sees the content or condition of our hearts more than the outer acts of being his citizen. As citizens of heaven, what should we really do? Hmm, let's watch this video. Let me tell you a story from God's Word. One time, Jesus was teaching and some people came up to him with a question. They said, hey Jesus, what's the most important rule that God ever made? And so Jesus said, the greatest and most important rule in all of God's word is this, love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And here's the second most important rule God ever made, love other people as much as you love yourself. In fact, Jesus said that those two rules were so important that every other rule in the Bible depends on them. Wow! So loving God and loving other people must be pretty important for Jesus to say something like that. It is so clear now that we are supposed to love God first and love others second. One way we show God how much we love Him is by showing others we love them. In heaven, God's will is always done. There is no temptation, there is no sin in heaven. This part of the prayer asked God that His will would be done here on earth just like His will is done on heaven. What can we do to others as citizens of heaven? God's will is that everyone on earth would know Jesus and their sins are forgiven. In 1 Timothy 2 verse 3 to 4 says, This is good and places God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. This is why Jesus gave the great commission to all his people after he was resurrected from the dead. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. If you ever watch World Olympics, you will see that every Olympians, even the supporters, bring up their flags or attributes to show others which country they are from. They are proud and bold to tell everyone about their country. They are not ashamed or try to hide it. As citizens of heaven, we must also proudly show others where we are from. Unlike the Olympians, we have no physical flag to show. But as Christians, the coolest and the best attribute we have is the love of Jesus Christ and His grace to us. 
When we want to show our attributes to others, we show Jesus to them. This is exactly what the Great Commandment tells us to do. We want God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, we do God's will by loving Him first and loving others. We show love to others by telling them how much God loves them. As the citizen of God's kingdom, I now only use my life for God. And Emperor Bosaka gave me a job to handle the cosplay game room in this fan park. Isn't it just nice? Mommy, can we go to Kingdom Slam tomorrow? I want to join the cosplay games there. I heard it's so fun to join it. Yes, Mommy. I want to. Please. I want to add my stars too. Of course girls, that is what I was trying to tell you. You can go there because you pass the exam at school. Okay? Yay! Thank you, Mom. Thank, Thank you, Dad. Thank God you, bless you. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Daddy. God bless you. Mwah. Love you girls. Mwah. Welcome to our cosplay game. Collect your stars and win the prize. The one who gets the highest point will win the game. From here, you can go on to the next time part. Arigatou gozaimashita! Sayonara! Mata aimashou! Dear Lord, we are so blessed that you have given us the lives as God's kingdom people. There's no other greater treasure that can be compared with such wonderful lives in your peaceful and eternal kingdom. We shall always stay faithful in following your will in our lives because we trust that you never fail to fulfill your best plans for us. Lead us, Lord, to share your kingdom to our families, friends, and others so that they can also enjoy the victories over any problems and temptations while they live on earth. Please free our country, Indonesia, from the bondage of sins and curses, and bless all the people of Indonesia with your grace, so that they can join your kingdom too. Please gather us again next week to learn more about your truth through this JGKC online ministry channel. In the name of Jesus we pray, Hallelujah, Amen. Hi boys and girls, we hope you enjoy watching this session of the Lord Prayer series. Please follow us until the last session and do not forget to collect your stars and win the prize. If you have problems, sicknesses or sins to repent and you'd like to share with us, we will be so glad to help you, to pray for you, and to lead you to know God's will for you. As we believe that God always knows what is best for us. So, may God's abundant blessings be upon you and your family every day. See you again next week in this JGKC Online Ministry channel. Bye! One, I am the citizen of blank. A, GBI CK7. B, United Kingdom. C, Mars. D, God's Kingdom. Two, your blank come, your blank be done. On blank as it is in blank. Matthew 6, verse 10. A, home, order, land, sky. B. Place. Paul. C. Everywhere. C. Kingdom. Will. Earth. Heaven. D. All is wrong. 3. Who is the king in God's kingdom? A. Gabriel. B. Jesus Christ. C. Father Abraham. D. Lucifer. 4. 
How is God's kingdom? A. It is eternal and peaceful with no pain, no sin, and no temptations. B. God's will is done. C. The place of God's faithful people. D. All is correct. 5. Who taught the Lord's Prayer in Bible? A. The Pharisees B. The Angel C. Jesus Christ D. Moses 6. As Christians, can we get to heaven only by doing good on earth? A. Yes, absolutely. God will only see our good deeds every day. B. No. We can get to heaven just because of the love of Jesus Christ and His grace to us. C. Yes, of course. The one who always attends church will surely enter heaven. D. No, we don't need to do good things. God always accepts us in heaven. 7. What happens if as Christians, we don't do good deeds to others who need us. A. We are sinful because we don't show God's love to others. B. We disobey God because God asks to do His commands to love others. C. All is wrong. D. All is correct. 8. What will you do? To be the citizen of God's kingdom. A. I will still follow God's commands even if I look different from my friends. B. I will do things that please others. God will be happy for me. C. I will work in the church and follow the church rules. Mm -hmm.